Okay, if you want to go to the net, you need a reliable overhead. There's nothing worse than having that sitter right there and you dump it in the net or hit it long. But the overhead is the least practice shot in the history of tennis. So you've got to get out and practice this shot. It's a confident shot. It's not an easy shot trying to hit that ball dropping out of the sky. So get out and practice it. I've actually had students where they'll see a lob go up and they actually say, oh no. I mean, is it any wonder they're going to miss the ball with that kind of an attitude? So what I tell them is, you have to learn to love the shot. You've got to create a new signal in the brain. So instead of saying, oh no, when you see that ball go up, you should be thinking, oh yes, I love these shots. That way you'll start to create a new signal in the brain. Now, the, the overhead is basically the same as a service motion, only it has an abbreviated backswing. You know, on serve, you drop your hands, you bring the hands up. When you're in that ready position, or you do that split step rather, and you see that ball go up, you turn and bring your hands up right away. From here, the motion is the same. Same as the serve, just like you're, you're throwing a ball. Now, some players point with the finger, and some will turn a little more and point with the elbow. I like to turn a little bit more, point with the elbow, because it gives you a little more shoulder rotation, and it'll give you a little more juice on the overhead. But the key is you've got to get out there practice the shot and create the new signal. Then you'll rarely make mistakes on that overhead and you'll have a, a nice new you signal in the brain. Overhead. It's important it. to have good footwork. Matter of fact, lack of footwork is probably the number one reason that players miss overheads. So you've got to get your feet in gear. So you come up into that ideal volley position and you see that your opponent's going to lob. Turn, get your hands up. You can shuffle back like this if you don't have to go too far. Now if you come up and they hit a great lob, you might have to cross over real quick to get back. Or they might try and go over your backhand side. You might even have to do a scissor kick where you come up like this. But the, thing, the point I'm trying to make is you've got to get your feet moving. A good drill is to, when you're out practicing your overhead, is to try and move your feet five to ten steps before you hit the ball. So you come up to that ideal volley position, you turn, take five or ten steps before you hit the ball. That way you, it'll give you the feeling of how much you want to move your feet. Because many times when the ball goes up, remember your opponent hits the ball slow. And what happens is your body tends to react like the ball. The jaw drops open, you don't move the feet, you're thinking, oh I've got all day. And then at the last second you're like this, trying to get the ball back. So as soon as you see that ball go up, get your hands up and start moving your feet. Remember, if you get back quick, it's always easy to move forward to hit the ball. But if you just stand there in the last second, you're going like that, you're going to be in trouble. So do that drill, five to ten steps. Get your feet moving you get before you hit your ideal own. volley position. Your opponent is looking to pass you or lob you. This is the time that separates good net players from the rest. You've got to go with your instincts. Now remember, if your opponent is leaning back like this, chances are he's going to lob. If he's stepping in like this, he's going to drive. When you see him like this, and you come up to that, that uh, split step position, you, you're here. As soon as you see that turn and start to skip back, remember, get back quickly. It's always easier to go forward to hit the ball than to go back at the last second. Because remember, you want to keep the ball out in front, just like you're hitting a serve right there. So get the feet in gear right away. Anticipate and move instinctively. you're probably dropping your head and chest too soon. If you're up watching the ball now, you drop the head and chest down too soon, the racket drops 
and you simply drive the ball in the net. So you've got to keep the head and chest up, keep the chin up. Now, I make contact out in front, let the racket go by, then keep your head up for one beat. If you hold it up one beat, you're going to create that new signal, that good signal in the brain. So here you are, you're watching, you keep it out in front, let the racket go by, then let your head come down. Hold it up for one beat. One beat, then look down. One beat, then look down. And the more you do that, you're going to create that new signal, and you'll rarely hit overheads in the net. Okay, two key points to remember to prevent your overheads in the net. Keep the head and the chest up at contact, and then keep the head and chest up for one... You're not contacting the ball out in front enough. Just like the serve, you want to contact the ball out in front. Usually the culprit here is footwork again. If you don't get your feet in gear, the ball tends to get behind you. If you hit the ball with the racket laid back, it's going to go long. So remember that drill we talked about earlier. Get your feet moving. Try and take five or ten steps before you hit the overhead. And remember, when you get up to that ideal volley position, when you skip back, don't be afraid to go back. It's always easier to move forward and hit the ball and keep it out in front than to be doing this at the last second and you catch the ball late and you hit it long. So get the feet in gear and you can keep the ball out in front. That'll prevent you from hitting your overheads long. Okay, two key points to remember to prevent your overheads going long. Number one, move the feet. You've got to move the feet so that number two, you can... If you get in close enough, angle it off, or bounce it over the fence for, for an outright winner. But once you get back into the service line area, or back in this area, don't think down because you might net the ball. Go out with your overhead. Think out a little bit more. Actually, I want to go deeper, more towards the baseline. That way, it'll prevent my opponent from be, uh, being offensive, and then I can work.